Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome into movie number 10. Yes, 10. And honestly, this one's not as delayed as it would have been. This one should have been on the 27th of this, of technically, it's been on the 27th. But because I picked up all the hours at work and all that good stuff, it just got all screwed out of hell. And now we're making it up as part of just trying to get these up to back up to date before I do the games. Back to gaming streams, which should be back, I think, within a few days. Um, so if you want to see me do games, I will. I still do games and stuff. I'm just trying to get these up to date. Hey, Teeny, I thought you were going to get on before me. That's why I was all confused. Because I thought you were getting on before, kind of. Like, I thought you were going to take advantage of me waiting until the CFP games were done. And then we didn't meet. I'm, you know, uh, or something. But, I'm not mad. I guess I got a little, you know, but. But, yeah, how you been doing this now, technically, 30 minutes into 2023? I mean, for you, you're not there yet. You're on, you're out out west but oh okay i didn't know that i had no i i didn't know that so if i had known that i'm like oh okay i, I could have you know sorry i didn't know uh you know it's i i if i don't yeah you know, my brain's just like you know but and really quick if you didn't get to see the cfp semifinals if the tcu michigan game was they have about had a thousand yards of offense combined. I think it was like 51 to 45. TC winning over Michigan. It, it, yeah, it's, yeah. My, my bad too. I probably said that, you know, like. Yeah, but my brain, you might want to kind of do that. And again, it's, it's cool, Teeny. I know you didn't intentionally do it or anything. It's just now with me, like, you might want to. And I'll do, I try to do that too with you guys. So you guys, I know I try to, you know, queer and stuff. So if it's not queer, let me know. So it's kind of, you know, you know, because that's a two-way street. So that way everybody knows everything, you know, is, everything's all good and queer. Um, so if you missed last night's movie, it is up on YouTube, ready to be, on, ready to, unlock here in a little bit of time um if you missed it it was basically a band made themselves like a holographic singer it works but then it kind of goes into a lot of her issues and then you know kind of think they find her voice at the end like she's more ballad based she's not really they weren't really meant to be i think a rock band like a hard rock like a rock and roll kind of you could kind of tell they weren't meant to. They were meant to be more ballad, soft rock, that kind of stuff where it could be, she doesn't need to dance. She can sit on a chair and, you know, do the, the acoustic guitar and people would love, and that in drones, and droves, you know. I think she had found that out earlier. She could have been like, hey, we don't need anybody just us, us free and him. You know, you know, that way they could have, I think it would be more successful. Maybe. But, um, but yeah, it is also a Twitch VOD. Um, so like I said, this was supposed to be on Tuesday. Um, but like I said, I picked up all the hours at work and everything and that just screwed everything up. Um, but hey, we're here doing it now. Um, tomorrow's movie was originally scheduled to be New Year's Day. So, basically, it was where I had wanted it to do that. So, that one tomorrow, which is, of course, KP Silva Drama, after Sunday Night Football, which, who plays Sunday Night? Who, who's the night game again? Steelers Ravens, oh boy, that one's gonna be a good one. No matter who, if there's playoffs on the line or not, uh, that one might be a good one. Uh, ooh, 
after so after Steelers Ravens tomorrow night, you come back here and you can call us or beep us. <laughs> I know it's a bad joke, but KB joke, but you know. Um. So and I also probably should do. Uh, Pixel Perfect came out in January. Where is it? January sixteenth of '04. I forgot to mention that last night. Or I think I maybe did. I don't know, but now I have. Um, this movie came out June eleventh, two thousand four. So this was in the summer. Um, and also I do want I'll talk about the uh, Georgia Notre uh, uh, State game. That game. That was a bit. It was a back before writing it. I didn't. I had him up. I was uh, had him up in the background on the laptop, and I actually fell asleep during the day. I actually got up and ate once and everything. Fell asleep, and then basically just flat out like, you know, like got back up, ordered McDonald's and. Because my, my mom can open her eyes a little bit more, a little bit now. Um, but there's no, they're not doing the whole thing next door. We, we have family next door. That, you know, so that's what we call it a compound. I call I do. So we were going to have like a New Year's party and that kind of stuff. We didn't have that this year. So, um, so that was going to be a thing where I was going to go. I hope I can pull this off. You know, I didn't want to just say, hey, I got to go do something over and back in my room. And I didn't want to just, you know, I didn't want to make it super awkward and be like, hey, I got a prior engagement, you know, like to do. You know, that's why I really wanted these to be done already. So I just had, I could have just been, you know, if there was anything, then I could have been like, hey, whatever. You know, but, yeah, but this is going to be a fun way to spend New Year's night, huh? Or New Year's Eve night. Um, so, yeah, that, yeah, the Ohio State-Georgia game, that was a really back-and-forth game, and all, and, and it's not, I don't blame it on the kicker, because that can happen, he can just, he just hooked it right, I think it's what it is, it hooked right, or hooked, looks to me on the left, but he hooked it, and then you're not, and I hope they don't bash the kid, I don't remember his name, don't bash the kicker. You know, it, it, it happens like that, man. And, you know, you uh, hopefully we'll be back next year. It's a great year for Ohio State. And I was like, and I was seeing both we both Ohio State and Michigan are in separate semis. What would have been weird in L.A. to see a rematch of Ohio State-Michigan? Because that's how we usually would be in their season. You know, they play each other. I'm like, that would have been a rivalry game as a national title game in nine days. I don't know. I doubt I'm gonna do a lots along of that this year. It real. I gotta look at the schedule and see how everything lines up. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get to do it or not. I may not with these guys being here. I may just say no. Um, but um, again, watch for stuff. I might try to get us caught up on other stuff. And, um, I might sit in Discord and watch a little bit of it, but I don't know, um, but yeah, it should be really fun. I think TCU versus Georgia, the two undefeated teams, I think we're both, we're the only two, we ever, the only two are undefeated in the, C, in the four CFP teams that were undefeated. It's gonna be a, ma it's gonna be a game. I think it's gonna be a game to watch. Georgia's best defense I don't remember who is the top defense of the two of the offense of the two, but like ranked wise, but this is gonna be good. It it so about nine days, it's gonna be one heck of a matchup, and it's in L.A. So they're you know so it's gonna be one of those that they'll have all night to party, because it won't be the game will end at like eight o'clock their time or something like that. So,
just checking a couple of things here. Do you have anything, uh, any other questions, Teeny? Or anything? Um, if you also did, Matt, we did the, uh, salute for Don West. I had planned on kind of doing one for Barb, or the, I forget her name. I'll bring, I'll look at my Discord again. For Barbara Walters, I just didn't get it set up. Uh, but you kind of say, we'll just acknowledge, I did acknowledge her yesterday. So I kind of think we've already did do something, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, so basically, and I do want to also say this, I don't, I, I am going to keep these on Sundays. Uh, okay, that's fine. I, I want to make sure we got any now, but I'd try to get some quite a little bit, because I might take some of open work before we start. Um, then we'll do like the whole movie shebang. But, um, but yeah, so basically I don't know when I'm going to bring the game back yet. Because also tonight does make halfway of the Vapes Fest. We're ten movies in tonight. So what I might do is after ten, after this movie, we'll probably do like our top five. Like I'll probably do it on, uh, I'll probably do it after tomorrow night. So we can kind of add it if we want, have like 11 out of it, and we'll, or if you want to do tonight, we can do your top five. And you can leave in the YouTube comments below if you're watching this on the YouTube versions. You can kind of see which five have been your bet, your favorites. Um, or in the Twitch chat if you're watching live on Twitch right now, you know, uh, uh you know, but, you know. Cause I want I, I want to see what favorite ones you guys have really enjoyed out of these. I've enjoyed them all because I don't I'm not comparing these to each other. I don't do a lot of that because I just like to enjoy movies and films. I like how they're made. I like how it's, you know predicting the industry, seeing where it's going, stuff like that. I don't really like to, um, you know what I mean. I don't want to sit there and be like, oh this sucks. I mean I I will say that. And, you know, like, I will, but I only will say it was absolutely necessary. And this should also be the last film, I believe, not in HD for us tonight. Because I think from here on out, everything is a high definition, or at least widescreen. Like, I mean, well, yeah, I, I liked them too. They are, like, the ones I really, and then, because I thought about doing this Space Fest last year, and... You know, I was going to do it last year with this, but I just didn't. And I can't teach that for a second, so, because I'm at my closet. So give me one second here. I'm going to take some ibuprofen. So I'm fine. I'm, I feel I'm going to do this. I'm just making sure I don't get a... I just think it's just a little light enough. But it's there just to go ahead and... I want to get rid of these older pills, too. Did I get two out of there or just one? Just one. Uh, and I'm also wanting to see if anybody else gets comes in. So, so give me a second, everybody. There we go. Really, was wanting to go and get that out of the way, and we can be out tonight. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> yeah, and we've got a lot of. We got ten. I hope really good films. Well, the one, because I remember, now the ones we're starting to get for the ones are like white, middle school and high school for me. So we're starting to get into the, where I'm like, for, I was like 13 or 14, kind of. So we're starting to get to the ones that, you know, I was starting to be in like middle school, high school, now with these, so. This is bringing me back a little bit more. Now, I don't remember a lot about this movie. 
um, because again, I this is one of the, the ones I haven't really seen much of. Um, I think I've ever seen it like a, like bits and pieces of it, but it's been years, so it's kind of one of those like I haven't really gotten to you know watch these. And a lot of these, it's, it's been years since I've seen them, and that's kind of part of why I did this too was I wanted to kind of. Re not not try to live in my childhood again. I just wanted to be able to relive it, you know, because and see what you know if I'm like if I still like these or not, or if these still hold up and and everything. And they still do. Like they, they've been really good so far, you know. Um, we'll go through. So, this came out, like I said, June 11th. There was a soundtrack that came out on the 8th of June. Um, uh, it's only like 81 minutes. It's based on Machine on Books by Ron Hammer and Roger Bowen. It's written by Stu Krieger. Written by Steve Rass. Starring Storms, Raven, and Matt B from Vos Free. Vos Free. Or no. Storms is back as Xenon. Malt B's back as Margie. Pankin's back as Plank. Fulger is Aunt Judy. So those four are the only ones that were on all three. Simone was not in two. Uh. Think out. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a new one. Okay, yeah. And then a lot of them are probably just like newer characters. They probably were. They probably pared down the cast a little bit too. But yeah, I I think if they had done one more movie, because he was eighteen there, so he would have been what it would have been. What twenty like two thousand seven two thousand eight, and she would have been, they probably would have been I heard twenty one. After that, there's no way you would. I I think at that part, I don't think it would have been a bad thing to to do it, but I just think it would have been that's the last one you would want to do. And then, you know, had it right at the HD era, and then it just would be. Because then it would be, you got four films over, what, 10, 15 years, something out of it? Yeah. So, and she'd been 18, so she'd technically be legal. Be going to see being an adult, so. She's responsible for herself now, and if that show. Um, so let's go through the thing here. Because I think we're at that point. Um, okay. Um, and also, since we're at the halfway point, I'm going to look at the uh, view, YouTube views and the Twitch views and see how everything is uh, going views-wise. And I might make some, like, I uh, might make an infographic. And I'll add in Sunday's stream, which I probably won't make it till Monday. Because I'll give you something to do Monday. As well as probably uh, work on the uh, 2K22 CCC, which I have updated it. But somehow I'm at 672 downloads, and I can't account it for two, the last, for two of them. My math's only coming to 670. So I don't know if I'm missing two or not. I'd have to get somebody that could, you know... I'd have to double-check my... I'd have to get to check my math, but... But yeah, I'll probably do like an average views for everything just to see. Because I mean, I'm not doing this just to get viewers or anything. But I do want to see if people are interested and if you guys are. Because if I'm interested in doing it, I want to do it for, you know, coolsies. And I mean, Teeny, you've been basically pretty much here every movie. You know, I think Mario's been here for a few of them. Um, we've had raids, and I, I think it's, we might do a sequel next year, or this year now, basically, um, in between the 23 and 24 seasons for NASCAR, but, 
Um, I'm gonna need some help picking movies out. Um, because at this point, I think I'm already, I'm out of a movie, I mean, I've got some I might want to do. I might post them up as another graphic on Twitter and see what, as like a temp thing, but let's do the details here. Okay, but Wikipedia says he's 18. That's weird. Okay, I'll say she's something again. Xenon Car now 17 or 18, where you read this from. And it's for Galactic Team Supreme Contest in hopes of winning a chance to attend the Moonstock Festival. Okay, it's like Woodstock. But see, then with a Pokemon competition, and Hormin who her need to, um, to be enhancing better Bronwy and to help her friend Sate. An activist desperate to keep him from being colonized. She's also tried by Commander Hwang and Aunt Judy Fresh's daughter, Dasa, who started by Xenon Contra getting herself into trouble. Wink, wink. <laughs> when during the last the Teen Super Contest, when Gasuina appears in front of the the Earth, as you know, her friends once again save the day. And it's just, oh, okay. They really give you a good amount. So it, okay, so it's coming of age, I'm drinking comedy. It's, you know, it was even a G rated movie or PG, probably 18. Because they probably would have, you know, PG, so it probably been like a teen film. They probably would have, like, set it up maybe that way. So it's got Christian Storms, Walt Monty, Alison Morgan, Stuart Pankin, Holy Fulgur, and Ben Easter. It's kind of your heavy hitters. Um. Okay, let me sit up. Um, okay, there we go. Uh. And then, so this would make halfway. So we'll do the halfway report after the movie. <laughs> and let's check. I'm checking everything really quick before. You mean? I just... Wait, what? Oh, 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 okay. I was like. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I think other than that, I don't have much. Because I can this tomorrow. I'm going to say it again at the end, and we'll go through kind of the second half thing. So we can kind of make sure everything's all good in the hood there. Um, okay. Are we good? Um, and I don't know if they're going to call me in general for hours at the end of the fiscal year. I don't know. So that's why I'm not really scheduling game streams yet. So I'm scheduling movies because I know I can do these that aren't, they aren't very, um, I don't have to put a lot into them. I might move them to Saturday just to give me that Sunday's day off. I don't know. But again, that's, you know, uh... But I want to keep them on Sundays anyway to kind of have them on Sunday nights. Just to kind of have them as a company like movie night. Kind of like SNF. Kind of tie it in, you know. But I ain't enough jibber jabbering. Well, we're going to keep doing it anyway because, you know. But, uh, all right. Yeah, everybody ready? Uh... <clears throat> My throat's still holding up good too, by the way. So I think, yeah, like. I do need to go to the grocery store and get my groceries. Might go maybe Monday or Tuesday night. Okay. Uh, maybe. I don't need to get as much then. Because I've got enough. I got, I, uh, I bought the stuff at Taco Bell. Like, I used to get my order and they gave me, like, two words. Blah, blah, blah. I said one of them being they needed me to freeze. So I was like, oh, that's fine. So I didn't need to get a monster last night. So, and I've got all the burritos. Because I ordered that. There's a new burrito I wanted to try. And I've still got, like, I didn't eat any of the, I was, I had gotten enough filled on all the cheaper, cheap stuff. And all, like, all the, like, the cheese rub, the uh, cheese potato taco, the little feces potatoes, and I kind of, so I was like, oh, I'll just save a bit of burritos to eat for once, and I'll throw my applesauce in, and sides and stuff, so, and I've got a couple things that I've got saved from McDonald's tonight, so, it's like, I can kind of save the uh, once as I here home for stuff, so. Yay. All right. We all ready? Yep. Teeny's ready. I've got the button hang here. In about three, two, one. Pressing button now. Uh, 
No, it is widescreen, but it's probably standard def widescreen. Okay, um, they worked on the graphics. Well, Xenon Z3. <laughs> no. Okay. 2054. Man, not a bad crowd. No. <laughs> the main event of the evening. The CG could use will work still. Margie. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the CG on the station looks all right. I mean, it is kind of getting through the years, so I mean, it is getting better and not as expensive. And these aren't the most expensive films either, so you gotta have to have your expectations. See, you know, it's pretty. And that's why I decided not to drive. I would do do on the seat. She had it fine, huh? I mean, she just, what, 17 or 18? So she's still kind of a given her, what, year or what? So, yeah, I agree with her needing to kind of, I don't know why I got a doll, but. All right, what? Uh, all right, wait, what the? <laughs> like, wait, what? Uh, they're getting messed. I think they're getting toyed, toyed around with. Yeah, you got it. Uh, huh. uh she just trying where's she was she trying to make a move like an earth landing? He can land pretty good. It's like, uh, like the cheeks are like. And you can tell it's a green screen, but. And they have.
<laughs> okay, what was that? <laughs> what was that? Uh, um, so we are, uh, do we restart? <laughs> I had my OBS just disconnect. <laughs> So, and then my whole thing just went, nope. <laughs> so, sorry about that. Um, we will restart shortly. <laughs> but I want to make sure everybody's like, I want to say, I don't know if it's still counting up. So, I don't know. I don't think it ever went down. But, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going to let it go a little bit. Yeah, it's going to be a little few seconds, but we had a little. So we're like a few seconds behind where we should be. You can tell she still got her. <laughs> Well, what if this was all like, it was like a fake moon or something? He's like, uh. I could have seen that happen and it just be like, where are we at? We're like six seconds behind. Six. Hold on one second. Six forty five. Oh, hold on. Six forty nine. I okay, there's where we are right now, actually. You've already been to the moon, you don't. <laughs> okay, well. The, the, uh, did we guys not know her history um at all like mm -hmm. yeah ooh that's nice I mean, yeah, Xenon's pretty, though, those be. Yeah, the timer's not gonna be right, so don't take that right. Yeah, we're, it's gonna be, like, 20 seconds off, but... That that whole uh, disconnect screwed us up. She's her. Trying to be. Yeah. It is.
Yeah, wouldn't Elvis Moon like we've already technically we've already been to the moon like in the sixties? Or they'd be like, wait, so we've already been to the moon? Been there? <laughs> Oh, so, yeah, they would only picked from the kids on the station because they wanted, that was kind of what they were going for. They were the ones that were actually brave to do that kind of thing. Oh, they're trying to get her to eat, get us to eat the veggies. <laughs> yeah. I mean, granted, I probably would have just been like, hey, drink this. You'll be better off that way anyway. And again, I do apologize for what's going on. Um, the movie's still up and everything, which we're still commenting on. I didn't want to get that out of the way really quick. We're just screwed. The, the clock's off and everything. Um, but uh, hopefully there's enough at this tomorrow during Kim, but Oh, cool. So you got to be like a very young astronaut. That's cool. I I know. It's And doesn't this guy know his actual history? <laughs> I mean, do they not remember the, the, the peace era of the 60s and all that? That we've already been to the moon, like... Or not, like... It's probably not that's enough. Yeah, I don't know if you would really want it on the moon. I think what you could I, I don't know why somebody's not like trying to be like, why don't you have it adjacent or something? I that wouldn't that might have worked and you know, could be like, Hey, we'll just build that and it wouldn't may not have been any different. I don't understand it, but I don't know why he didn't, like, I mean, I'd see I'm not sitting there just squinting, I mean, I wouldn't have, I was like, yeah, I could kind of see what you're getting at, like, maybe putting into, like, having it build its own separate thing, so it's, like, I mean, I don't think it really, w it, it would have looked like the moon having condos on it, I'm like, I don't really think it's ever really going to happen in our lifetimes. Or even our kids' kids or anything, but... Or anybody's, really. I think it would all be kind of, like, different. But that's never near or there. Yeah, it sucks, man, about the time we're But it's alright. I mean, we're still on, so... Like I'm not as a Nyquil. <sighs> I really wish I could have like a oh, link it up to my Google. Our Disney Plus thing, and it would resync it up. But yeah, we've already been there. 
and that's really all we have ever done. And I think you're maybe you would see, but I don't think you're ever really gonna see condos or anything like. It would just be like we've got there and that, but I don't really think we do a whole lot. Cause I don't think it would look like condos like we have here. It'd probably be under a gigantic, you know, it had to be. I do love the Z logo. I wish some, I might have to see if somebody has that on a Google image search if I do make a Xenon in the game. Yeah, she's got like. It's like oh, this is like the cam op uh, the home under. Yeah, I think Xenon could actually get her to hey, an engine now. I think it would work. Yeah, I like Xenon's outfits in this. And I'm not mine with him actually making them like tight to her and everything like I'll I'm okay with that she's that young we're maybe doing anyway Yeah, and that guy is not, it's not the same actor. Yeah, I thought even he would be the same actor. But I, I think now, that, you know. Very <laughs> I'll give me a go. I might get give me a go. Let's try. And I mean, <laughs> I mean, I get the whole thing with the moon. When I colonize the moon, but holy crap, many words did she eat? Hey, uh, it's amazed how she's how good you know, men women she is, and she can eat all that. Now we <laughs> Yeah, something's up. Well, yeah, I will agree with that. Oh, not yet. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean at night when you're asleep, you idiot. <laughs> okay, we don't need close-ups of her chest mountain. You know, I mean. Uh. 
Hey, Mama, I'm not mad about it. Like, it's gonna be cool to vote when I have mine, though. Um, Yeah, because you're like, we're paid all the damn time. Uh, yeah, I mean, he goes faster than you. That's what we were doing, you moron. Uh, <laughs> hey. That's why you need NyQuil or some like uh, like titanium to NyQuil <laughs> or something. I mean, Lottie is trying to be a responsible sister. I like that. <laughs> I think he's just trying to... I, I like the sister thing. I wouldn't... I, I don't know. That doesn't matter, and just... Yeah. I mean, all's well, but ends well. <laughs> I... He's trying to be like, hey, you need me yourself. <laughs> He's like, oh, what am I saying? <sighs> yeah, you need to give her a chance to actually settle down and crap. Uh-oh. She heard all that. Oh, wait, it's a puppy. <laughs> She's out of a kid. <laughs> what the? <laughs> He's talking about the dog. <laughs> Uh-oh, but... There might have been some incredible damage. Hey. And we get our first little very smooth ad break there. <laughs> oh, nice. You see, that's a cute old puppy. Yeah, all we can do is try it. Yep. 
<laughs> He's like, oh crap. Like, yeah. <laughs> I should have known by now. <laughs> yes. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's time for the race. Do we have back to like Matt Reynolds? Or like Dale Jr. and <laughs> I'm calling the race? <laughs> ah, you got done better than that. <laughs> the command better than that. Uh, it's the most famous word in all motorsports. You could have done a better job with the uh, command start engines. And they're off. Man, oh, whoa, 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 we got very high contact. <laughs> they don't have any sponsors? Wow. I know, I was like NASCAR, but... Like, you might want to watch what you're doing, hom homie. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it was going to be like condos, like the ones you see on her. And she overshoots her, <laughs> and it's like, oh crap, bro. Winner of the race. No. Margie finally gets the win. Oh, they're drafting. They're not bum drafting, are you? Yeah, those two guys are gone. <coughs> uh, and then they're like, wait, where are we? Where? I'm in the four. Wait, who was third? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, wait, your eyes aren't brown. <laughs> It'd be like, hey. You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> It'd be like, <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just like, tell you this now so like, we can kind of settle this.
Hey, what's going on there? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yeah, we're not singing. I know we're not. We are off just by what? By twenty seconds. I mean, so. But about minutes are kind of right. But and here comes everybody else. I don't think you could really get to see all that, though. <laughs> yeah, it would look more like this. Yeah, that always looks nice. And we're going back to brothers. He's still trying to. He's <laughs> not any work. I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad he's on the phone. <laughs> right, cool, well, that's all you need. Now, that guy, I, that other guy, I'm like, hey, I'm glad you actually made it. <laughs> Be like, mm -hmm. Oh, a girl band. And it took three movies to do it. And that overmond is pretty. Mm -hmm. Again. Our satellite, whatever this is. <sighs> I mean, technically, he doesn't have any power. I mean, I get it, you know. It's like, oh, it's just going to be kind of... But again, you're not going to have the condos in that just like you do on Earth. Either. I mean... So it kind of... That's what I think it's going to look like. The thing would have to be massive to be seen from space. So... Oh, no, Raven. It's like Indiana liver. <laughs> it goes to summer to winter. Frozen coconut. Oh, the thing is going to die. The thing can kill you. <laughs> like, quite literally, if they fall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
and Yeah, see, you know, it's, fine. it's just their turn trying to get to you. Yeah, like. Now nah, it's just a. <laughs> I like that there's a Z in there. Because I can't use the NASA logo without probably getting behind the bay for the rights. The moon, technically, nobody really. I, 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 unless, like. No. I marked the wrong person. But in the end, it'd be like, mm. They mean they're good, man. This dude's an idiot. No. Uh, now that'd be a title belt for me, but uh, I like my belt, my my championships being title belts. Or gigantic cups. <laughs> Not team, but, you know, NASCAR trophies. For the, our champions of the season. <laughs> now they're like, <laughs> Oh, I need to go out again. <laughs> oh, brother's other side. Uh, yeah, I think. And then there's. You knew it was going to happen, right? Hey! Oh, I thought you were younger, man. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, dude, you have been around a few years. I mean, well, 
Hey. 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 He's like, okay, fine. Um, you know, you just forget about. So it's just gonna, it has been a dome. It's just gonna look like a tumor. <laughs> I mean, I get it, you know, but. And Brozo is playing, but. Uh, oh, I will see what you And man, they look good in those silver dresses. And you can tell the light up. Man, they are singing what? Man. Yeah, you might well respect speed limits. <laughs> You're so. You couldn't. Well, no, I don't think drugging her would have worked. What in the world? <laughs> Snow on outer. <laughs> well, I. Has it? Who is? We we seen it. <laughs> Let go to us. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, what did he do? What was all that about? 
Oh, like somebody that's not gonna try to stop him there? I mean, why not just put the dang thing next to the moon? It's not that hard! You only put it on the moon? You've already got one station, why not just do stuff like that to get the views of the moon? And then you're not, it's just gonna be like a big tumor if it's on the moon anyway. Uh, it's just gonna be like one big pimple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally true. You can still want to look great. That's what Russell Kara. She's smart and independent, but she still wants to look amazing. That's part of Russell Me's character, you know, the billion dollar. <laughs> Yeah, Xenon's right. Yeah, they weren't from Cena. Focus on yourself there, bro. Or whatever your name is. Uh, are we already at 46 minutes? Yeah, we are. Okay. Well, he got a tie. How? I just weave, dude. <laughs> I was like, I don't care. And it's like, dude, stay out of this right now. Uh, you're kinda not involved in this. She had nothing for. She didn't do anything wrong. I mean, yeah, not doing anything herself at all. Because you really didn't win. You were fourth. So it was like you barely qualified. Yeah, because they said, oh yeah, this missed thing. Yeah, you all three eliminate. He wins. You're gonna get you're gonna get lost anyway. And then they're like, wait, I thought he was going to help me in. Probably not. Uh, it's 
So what if she had quit? And then they just decide he's the winner. And then so Severo like, well, even if you when you did quit, we we still got eliminated. And I'm like, yeah, I think I can just call it there. <laughs> so isn't it? Hmm. Honestly, I would just up and leave. I'm like, I don't... To me, that's right. I'm just gonna up and leave and say, this. I'm done. <laughs> it's like... If I won and they're gonna blame it on this... I'm glad to see the loser. I'd just be done. I'm like, screw this. We're done. And then... no. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, she's like now she's keeping Xenon under. <laughs> yeah, you know, do you not know me or not? Yeah, that would look ugly. Just put it on the thing next to the moon. How hard is that? <laughs> you too, Mari. How you doing? The clock's off by like 20, 30 seconds or something. But the minutes are, are about right. We had a little tech glitch happen, and I can't edit the clock. So, uh, I'm good here. Good, man. So when nobody tries to do anything, and they just never do anything. I'm like, isn't that dumb? Uh, good word. Yeah, I, I almost bought it. Just because Chase on the cover and just have it for that. Because I didn't really care about playing it. Because I was like, am I going to want to play it enough to buy it? Now I only have Heat 5 just because Chase was on the cover. And it was like really cheap, so I'm like, I'll just get it for that. And I want, and I wanted it for the collection anyway, because I really didn't, wasn't gonna, I just, you know, need to get it for. I need to get the four copy before too long, because I'll probably put it on deep, deep sale and try to get it out. I need. Yeah, you can tell the CD's better than it was in the '90s, '99, but could use a little bit more work. Ah, yeah, I like to have it uh, as disc. I mean, I don't mind digital content. I mean, there is the limitations, but they haven't worked on any new extensions to the Blu-ray format in years. They haven't done a lot. Like, I would have loved to have seen a terabyte Blu-ray. Like they said they were gonna try to work on, and a lot of other stuff for years, and they just haven't done it. Other than the 4K extension. So, I don't know. I think that's where gaming's going to go. Um, cloud gaming's not going to be for a while. Oh no. I mean, we're she's just talking to the thing right there. Oh, yeah, here's Selena. 
you're, I mean, the movie's like an hour into the movie. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, I'm like, you might, it just takes your everybody's thinking the road, what the heck was going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw. We talked about it earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yep, yep, there's... And so I'm like, then... I have no idea if you... Ro? Like, what? Do you, what? What is Ro? What are you talking about? Are you... Is it an act? Um, okay. So there's some kind of, like, teen... Competition thing going on, and she just got basically screwed out of it for cheating unintentionally because of Selena's just trying to get to her. I talked to her about not wanting all this like moon base crap, which I don't know why you wouldn't. I just would make it a change of a moon, and like that's it. <laughs> So, she barely qualified to get there. And then, like, she barely qualified for that final part just there, but then the whole is like, oh, she cheated. Oh, yep. Yeah. She's now got a like a stepsister or step like a cousin that they adopted they took in a foster kid so and she's like a major fan so <laughs> and xenon was kind of trying to oh we don't grab I hope we don't die yeah Oh, they went and just showered right over. Cool. Oh, that'd be fun for you. Mm. No, you don't. You almost ruined it, but... Boing! <laughs> mm. You did it again! Mm. And you said Xeno was bad at driving these things. Uh oh, now we got it running already.
Oh, cool. Well, you know you're in Georgia, so that's going to be a thing. I figured they'd be wearing Georgia Bulldog shirts today with the CFP. Uh, I figured everybody would be Bulldog fans today. But down there. Uh, uh, Yeah, about too little, too late. Georgia, oh, cool. I mean, you've already got space stations. Why not just, just use those? Or have it be like, just do what you're going to do on the moon. Just make it like, build it out. Have it be like a floating platform thing or something. And then, yeah. I mean, you weren't doing a good job of selling it, kind of, but, I mean, oh, oh yeah, I figured it probably would be, yeah, uh, their word in their typeface. Hmm. Yeah, they were kind of stupid for me. Yeah, because if you actually had left, that would have gave him the win. And then it's just stupid. Because it's just like, you still would have, they wouldn't have brought you back. Hmm. Yeah, and it wasn't... I need to get... No, it was a... Uh, it got... I'll explain at the end of a movie. And I'll explain it at the HSM 2. Because we're doing the sequel. So, we'll do that in, a, I think, two weeks? I think? I'd have to, you know... Um, so, I'll explain tonight, and I'll explain, like, full detail of the whole trilogy when we get to the sequel. Uh... Uh, mm. But dude, this dude's a moron. I just thought he's he's moron of the week. He, this Brody guy, I I would so love to give him a stone cold stunner right now, <laughs> or whatever Shuna just did to him. I'll explain the whole thing about the HSM trilogy. After this, I'll explain the free, what you're asking at the end of this movie, and I'll explain the whole sabang about the trilogy when we do HSM 2 in a couple weeks or so. So that way you'll get your, you know, I'll answer your question, what you just asked about HSM 3. Cause I kind of want to, you know. So she's like, "Hey, if you want to go ahead and give him a win, we're gonna do if you." Uh... Oh, you don't get a choice of cough. <laughs> Fine. I don't think she really cared about being on the moon or not, did she? Honestly, if I was... Yeah, Selene is kind of a... <laughs> yeah. 
Then go be alone. Go do some. Go 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 on your other side or whatever. You got plenty of space. <laughs> you know how much are we gonna take? I mean, granted, I get it, but. And now he's like, oh. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm glad that's good for you, man. Why don't they just build it and then just have it be next to the moon? They could still sell, like, Moon Plaza or whatever it's called. Okay, Selena's an idiot because she's like, not helping right then and there. She's like, I mean, I guess she's getting what she wants, but she needs to be like, you know, staying in her lane too sometimes. <laughs> and they're frozen. So what is she eating? What is he eating? Cool. Um, you'd have to do kind of how I am, because you can't show the movie, because you would get taken down. You will get taken down if you actually show the movie. That's why I'm, you know, that's why I built the scene and everything. Everybody starting to weave. Uh, now nah, you can weave up there. We don't care. <laughs> yeah, I think it was ice cream. Too. Green boy. <laughs> Nobody owns the damn moon, no. You... Okay, I kind of don't... Yeah, come pretty. <laughs> I wouldn't even do that. I wouldn't play anything of the movie. Because that can get you in trouble. Audio can get you in trouble as much as video can. Because that... They can... You can get in trouble for that. Because Warner can still come down or Universal or Paramount can be like, nope, you played the audio from our film. Nope. Uh, you, uh, anything. Audio is not, doesn't get you much trouble with the video. It gives you the same. I know, but they can find you. Man, they are, they are sharks. So, I'm just saying, you might want to be very, very careful what you do. And I try to make sure I don't bleed this into my mic or anything. And stuff like that. Because I want to make sure I have no issues on copyright. None. So, Disney has no reason to be mad at me. None. That's why I also say I have that you can watch the movie on D plus, so that way I'm giving Disney a little bit of advertisements. So maybe they're like, oh, he's advertising to my product. Maybe we, you know, or C as I should say, you know, because I still got to get used to that a little bit. They can be, you know, they can be like, hey, you know, mm, maybe that would help me out. No, maybe they would underline me a little bit. Maybe I'd play him a adder show for Disney stuff and it would be a nice little arrangement we'd have and people are... 
Yeah, you just make it float or some sh That's all you need. Does it need to be on the moon? Moon stock could have just been adjacent to the moon. That's all I've been saying this whole time. And you're probably bored of me saying it, but... Yeah. If you have that, you could, maybe you're at home and you're going to a private use. Yeah. But if you're trying to do like for t like what I do here for the, the Fades Fest and that, you have to really watch copyright. Because company will come after you if you they get you. So don't give them that uh, don't give them that opportunity. Oh wow, we're just gonna pick it up and see. This is what I'm thinking. I'm like the easiest thing to do would just be let it float like the space stations. So like DS9 or something. You just don't have it on Bajor. You have it next to Bajor. Next to Bajor or something. It would be like... I, it's... I, right. But I'm trying to... Stay away from the company. Twitch really is... But again, I don't want any issues. At all. And it's more... I, YouTube, I can get hit with stuff. Because it's... And I, like, with these, I haven't had any copyright issues at all when I've uploaded these to YouTube. And that's what I've been gunning for, is saying no issues on that end, so it's worked. You know, because when I do WWE stuff, that's where we run into issues with the theme music and everything. I've always gotten somewhat blocked in, like, Aza or whatever, which I don't really care about much. I've kind of accepted that, because I'm like, it's like Russia or something, which I know I'm not getting views out there, so big deal. Oh, it, it is. It is. Like, Twitch, I mean, but I'm acting like I'm giving it, I'm trying to, oh, there's the hair finally show up. And they got it, everything, like, but now I, mean, I need them to help. You know, like, I just want to stay on the best side of the wall I can. Because, and this is why I tell everybody, you know, be smart with copyright, no matter what platform you're on. Yeah, because it doesn't matter if they, if they, the platform enforces it. It's more the companies do or not are going to, the companies that make the content are the ones you're really going to want to watch for. Because they will sue them. It's like the whole music debacle. You know, it's like the music companies got on Twitch and was like, hey, we don't like that people are playing their music on their streams and making, and, you know, they don't own that and everything. That's why you get them to copyright music and everything. And they got it. Cool. And so that's why I'm really am trying to make sure I stay in the positive on that. Because if I do good here, yeah, I can get away with playing Money, Money, Money for VD for Carol on my on Carol stream. I'm the Car one of the for Carol streams. And they mute you. They do something, which is still Twitch. YouTube, you'll go to the, you'll, the money will go to the copyright, owner, which is not a big deal. Unless you're actually making a bit more money. I would just not have it. It's better off because then you get, then it's, and you're kind of solving that issue. Because I look at it both ways. And they got it, everything great. Y you know. Yeah, I know Twitch doesn't really do, but that might change at some random point because music companies could say, we've had enough, you have to do something or else. Because I've had it where I've had my, um, I've had it before where they will not publish my VODs because of music. And I've had to manually help to publish the VODs. And they get it nice year. I'm like, everything is here. <laughs> it's like a neck brace. Mm. 
Yeah, you know, yeah, Twitch may not really do a whole lot with it, but I hope that doesn't come back to bite them in the ass. And I would just say, don't make it an issue. Because I've always told people, don't... I mean, I've had friends that still do play, I mean, and again, it's not my position on to bash them for it. I'm just telling, I'm trying to be, my advice is, if you're not going to YouTube for it, not playing, not putting it up on YouTube, you're probably okay. But if you're doing like I do, and put machines up to YouTube and stuff, and she'll kill pretty in black. And doing stuff like that. Yeah, you don't get the money if you... It, the money would go to them, yeah. So, it would... It's kind of that they found the system that works. That's why I'd say if you don't want to have that happen to you... Because it, it claims your videos. So, that's why if you want the money... If you want to make the money... Have the non-copyright music. If you're just doing YouTube for fun and you're not trying to make money, you're f you can have it. So you need to make a decision and go and there's pro and you would have to make that decision. See, that's why like New Egg and Dank and all of them when they did the with this year. Again, that would be something they'd have to work with the music companies. They'd have to work with that. They'd have to be both. They'd have to go to both sides. So it's not just a Twitch. That would have to be the music companies as well. So you can't just say Twitch needs to do it. Well, music companies should as well. And both would need to get together to do it. So... And I'm glad Rosa looks so happy again. So, yeah, I, I would love that if that was they just solved it where you could just play it. But I'm also glad there are places that are giving you music to, that you can stream and use and stuff. And I would say use those and stuff and, you know, that we don't have to worry about. It. You can just be like, hey, I can use these. And it's like that one I tweeted about while I'm there, like, hey, thank you for tweeting this out. And I'm like, hey, you're welcome, you know. Go use those if you want to use music for and stuff. That's why we don't do like custom audio for TND. I'm just like, nah. I'm not gonna and when we we just do it straight up live anyway, so there's really no I'm not gonna mess around with trying to do country and custom track for you guys. I'm like and if we were doing this recorded and doing that kind of way of doing it, maybe. But that's when I I said that. Yeah, they mute you. So like if you go back and watch a lot of my older VODs on Twitch, when I didn't have a mic, there were dead periods. And even then, um, WWE stuff now has not been muted. It was almost we've, uh, honestly. Yeah. Just fly stations next to the moon in that, man. It's not that hard to do. <laughs> yeah. And they, that way they don't... That's how they combat, like... Yeah, totally. That way they can... That was in response to the music company saying, hey, we don't like it. And, and stuff. So... That way they can kind of get rid of the issue, so that way it's muted, and then they can make it where you can't publish your VODs. So there's the credits rolling there. Yeah, we're about 20 seconds off is something like that. Um, but not bad. It was free. I like this one. Um, a little stupid moment. Um, kind of like, guys like, oh, like, 
I don't... Oh, yeah. But, again, you don't... Then you would also... It's like... But would you want so many small companies? There has to be some kind of medium where, you know... And I'm not... Yeah, it is. But then you could also have the other way around where... I'm going to go ahead and pause the timer here. And you could basically have it where it would be so, like, so chained out where it's too much choice. You know, it's like how on sports, you know, on Talk Ring TV and he's like, well, competition used to be great for sports games back then and everything. Like, yeah. And it went down to, like, one or two games. And, but I don't know if you really would have wanted five or six games in today's world. Yeah, oh yeah, they did. But are you going to want them to say, oh, it's really open wild? That's not going to happen. The Raiders okay with whatever, and they want to make their money. If you can get them a way to make some money off of it, that's how you do it. If everybody gets a little something, something from it, that's fine. That's why I'm telling, that's why if, that's why YouTube was able to get that, you know, out, like, it says, con, you know, look, you know, then it's like, oh, well, they get the money, from, why don't I? Because, well, you're using their music. And it's like, oh, it shouldn't, they shouldn't do it. Well, it's, you, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You need to meet in the middle somewhere to do it. That's why you have to compromise somehow. That's why I'm telling you, it's like, yeah, you know, it's like with me, I kind of said, you know what, I don't want to deal with, you know, like with when I was playing the non-interest fee music in the game, it's like the licensed music they got from like, you know, if I was singing on Kelly or not, it would just, that stuff would always get muted or whatnot, and, and I was just like, I'm not doing that, I just want it to be straight up non-muted, and there be stuff. Usually, I didn't have any restrictions. Because that can me bring that up on my, con my, uh, what's in my hooey here? Um, YouTube, no. Because I don't have my other channel now, but it was with my, a, uh, college account. Which is, I only had, like, one video, so. Oh, the, uh. One for Pixel Perfects up on YouTube, by the way. It just went, it just unlocked like about a few minutes ago. So like on my all the WV videos are claimed have some kind of copyright claim. I mean they're public, so I'm not really that big a deal. But once I go into like Morgan's second episode of Morgan's My Rise, now it's saying no impact, so I don't know it's WV's entrance themes. So, that's with me, I'm like, I think I did the right thing there, to where, okay, what is one that has, any kind of, I'd have to go back a little bit, wouldn't I? Yeah, okay. I think this would be one I can really show you. Yeah. Because the WWE music is not impacting me, so I'm totally fine with that. That's why I'm going to keep that. But, um, the happy song from Bring Me Horizon got me blocked in some countries. In Russia, I don't really care. Um, yeah, and then WWE always gets some random crap because it's like some title animations or whatever. 
Yeah, but you're never. I don't think you're really gonna get that. They're now. I. I. I very highly doubt it. I'm. I'm gonna be good to hear it, man. I don't think you're really gonna. I maybe. You might see him like making money, but I think they would want the money. Corps want money. They don't care. You know, they're not going to be like, oh, you're not making money? Yeah, it's fine. They're not like, no. They're going to say, no, you're using it. They're going to, like, we've seen it. Like, we've seen that. You know, it's... Yeah, so High School Musical 3 was promoted to a full-fledged theater release. Um, so that's how you got, like... Um, it, so it's Walt Disney Pictures. Um, that's why you've got a bit more publicity shots. And actually, I can, I don't know if I still have it, but, um, let me bring up. I figured it'd be. Like, for publicity shots. Like, um, I wish there was a site that had, like, yeah, it gave you, like, uh, posters and a lot of that. Oh, I'll just, I'll just use this. That's fine. No, I don't have any sites. I'm looking for a picture really quick. How popular was it? it was huge. Um, I'll give you a really quick like. So there's there's at. HSM one brought in viewer wise. The next year from him here. So the first one came out in 2006. 7.7 7 million viewers. Twitch has got the one right before in the like Halloween season of 05. With 700,000 people less at 7.0 mil. The only other one that got any better than that at that point was Cadet Kelly. And then the sequel in 07 almost beat it by 10 mil. 17.2 mil. Uh, technically, no. It was a made for DVD. Or Blu-ray, really made for, uh, made for just like a home release, basically, and then they premiered as a decom like a little while later. Um, if you want to know my story with it, um, there is it's already in one of my older, um, VODs. I tell the whole story about it, and I will do it in our page video as well. Um. It's one of the things that had got me laughed at kind of a little bit. I mean, I understood why a little bit, trust me. Um, it was like back when I bought it in 2011. Because I bought, I have my disc for Star Page Harvest Adventure. I still have it. Now, I don't have the stuff it came with anymore because, well, I'll tell you now, it, will, it didn't come in a traditional case. 
I'll just say that much. <laughs> it, kind, to a degree, yes. Um, and then he was in that, and I think that also did it as well. I think it was like the the start of that. Like he was in that, and then they, he was in that, and then. I don't know if he's, I don't know what he's been in anything since, so I don't know if it's, if that has cooled down, but yeah, that was AT in, from free, and the budget goes bigger, you know, and stuff, so, I'll get rid of that, I mean, man, just, yeah, that, yeah, that means his career isn't, he's not really, I don't, I mean, saying he's not a star in that is kind of odd, you know, that's because it's, you know, that's kind of weird, but I'd say he was in that, and then after it hasn't been in anything, like, notable, you could say, like, you know, he's been in indie films and that, but nothing, like, no major stuff. So you could say maybe he's not, you then you could say, yeah, he's not a star, you know. But like Tisdale, like, you know, she did, she was star pay. She did it amazingly well. Yeah, cool, you know. <laughs> you know, then, because I watched the sequel that I had not, I haven't watched the first music, the musical. I've I've seen little bits and pieces of it. I've kind of seen the third a little bit, and I had I don't know where my uh, pictures are. I've that's where I heard of Tisdale. I fell in love with her there. She was one of my first, one of one 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 of my one of my few crushes I had when in my R era. And I still do now. I mean, you know, she is. If you've not seen her today in 2022, she is amazing. She's got her own makeup line, and she and she did say this. Like, she's very happy people recognize her from Frenzy now more than the movies, which I think is more of a thing gonna happen anyway over the next few years, because anyone that's gonna remember from her from her like sweet life, that's gonna be like us. It's going to be like our 30-year-olds or whatnot. Yeah, 22, 20, you know what, yeah, yeah whatever. Because, yeah, but, um, but yeah, so, basically, you know, she's always looked great. You know, and when I get more feminine, she's kind of one of my body goals for me in a way. I mean, except for one obvious thing, I might still have it. She doesn't anymore. And again, she looks great without them. I'm not going to mention it because they always kind of, you know, it makes me kind of sad that she did it. But, I mean, she doesn't have any regrets or anything. Um, but, um, which, I mean, she, you know. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not mad about it, it's just, you know, but it just, whenever I bring it up, I'm just like, man, I miss him. Yeah, that too. She was big back in the mid, late 2000s, in the, the 2010s, and then she, it kind of hit, it hit, her and McCurdy both hit the same, like, wall, where it was, she didn't get to really leave Disney or Nick, and look what happened. Nothing major Anything they were in wasn't very much. Um, and, I mean, Jeanette's situation is different from Ashby. Don't get me wrong. But you could say they wind up because you could say, like, both were blonde. Both were gorgeous women, still are. You know? And you could say, honestly, if Jean if they had done it better with Jeanette, and they had gotten in. She had gotten into something right after Sam and Cat ended. Instead of between. She could have maybe. If she had gotten into maybe MCU. Or the DCEU. 
or maybe something like that. She could have been raking in the money. Maybe could have had a Carol. Maybe did see him with as Blonde with the Z suit thing. And she wanted okay, to doing that. Maybe she did. They did that. She could have been gorgeous, and she could have came out had a coming out part. Man, she could have been like a sex icon. I might get the, I might look at that video, because I don't know if I would, I might get it, but I might see if it's on like a 4K version or something, Blu-ray release, I might get a 4K release, come on Disney, 4K release your movies man, you're sitting on a gold mine, us buyers would buy them. I know it's not. What do you think I've just been saying? They need to put it out in 4K. Mario, I think you're not listening. <laughs> or you are, but you're kind of behind a little bit, man. But yeah, so we are now halfway through the Faves Fest. Because uh, I don't... Have they not done a Boomer Man in, a, in 4K yet? I don't think they have. No, I haven't heard of one yet. I haven't seen it in stores yet. Because it would be one of those they would constantly re-release. <sighs> but, Disney, we're giving the ideas here. Come on. I mean, 22. Um, It's still going to get called 22. Because it start. Uh, there would be a 23 fest. Because... It's going to be the year that it starts in. Because if there's going to be a, a sequel this year, I will call it the 23 Fest. It would, so people would be like, oh, okay, so then that's the Fest that started in 23 to go to 24. Okay, that would make sense. So that way people would say, oh, you had two 20, you know, because then it's like, which you had a fave fest in one year it was it could get a little out of hand and it'd say that way the 22 fest went into 23 and then the 23 one goes into 24 and then you know that way you're a little more out there with it okay so let me do the xenon review here i like the first one really well it's one of the best that they've ever done Sequel was, I mean, all three were really good. Let's just say it that way right now. The sequel, I think the best outfit-wise, all three were, we were really good. It, they all were really good, well-made. It's a good trilogy. I think I've seen the video before, because it aired on Disney back in the day. So, I don't think it was just on, it was probably, it's on that brewery that you mentioned but I think it's probably... I could probably find it on YouTube. Like, nothing. Because it's probably up on YouTube. But it's probably... They probably even put it up. Because if it's like 08-ish, I think it's probably up there. You know? Uh, yeah. Uh, um, but, yeah. Um, so, really, this is a trilogy I would recommend. Like I said, these are not... Like, these are short films. These are not going to be, like, films that you're going to have to sit and really, like, you know, now, like, with the, like, with this one tonight, it's like, oh, I want to be left, and I don't know, like, the whole, like, so, you know, was kind of a little moron, you know, I'm like, a little, like, wanting to play around a little, and it's like, if you want them off, then help them get them off, you know, be like, hey, you know, it's like what I was saying, why not make it adjacent to the moon? Or adjacent to Mars, where you could kind of like DS9 or something. Why does it need to be on the moon exactly? Why does it need to be? You've already got a, uh, you know, your thing next to the, to Earth. You got your space station. Why not just have it like that? And then if you've already got habitable planets, then you could, because you'd be stuck in the tumors or it's stuck kind of. Or it'd be like having a whole thing. You couldn't even weave. And you'd be stuck in it. But at least if it was like floating. You would at least have that. You could actually see the moon. Always have a nice view of it. I think it would be better that way. 
I don't know why I wouldn't. I if I was that guy, I was like, nah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it off the moon. Cause I just like that better, and I'm like, yeah, I think we will. Think he's only gonna be like, it's like, everyone just weaves, and they're like, nobody's there, and she's like, wait, they just weave it, and I'm like, yeah. But yeah, really good trilogy. I've enjoyed it. I'm glad we did. So, okay. So, what was your guys' top five? No, well, some of them neat are good to just being duo duologies or trilogies. You, not everything needs to be a four or five or more thing, though. Because then you're just going to start filling. You're going to have to do filler. Not everything needs to be... You don't need a Xenon 9. Or something like that. They didn't just say, oh, you can only do a trilogy. You know? the only. I mean, they only could probably do one more of these anyway. And then it would have been... Yeah, I would have. I think a second Cadet Kelly would have been cool. You know, that could have been something. But that's something that, you know, you would have had to get that off the ground. You know, but does everything, does everything need to be a sequel? You know, does everything need to, yeah. Okay, so... So now we've done the first three were 99. What was the first Xenon, Smart House, and Tsunami. And then we did the Xenon sequel in 01. And then this was the first two we did in a, in a week in 02. Cadet Kelly, the bonus that we got. We're hitting a thousand on here on Twitch. On YouTube, we didn't hit that, but you know, we did the thousand on there. And get a clue. And then. Right on track, and even Stevens was 03. And then the last two we did, the last couple of nights in 04, Pekul and Xenon, got us over the hump to get us over to the 10. So we got Kim Possible, so the drama tomorrow night, originally set to be there. So, because I was going to be, I think I said that. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, they did. That was all promoted, too. That was like a whole thing, like, that was all over their social media and everything, yeah. Because I remember hearing about that. Yeah. Because I still follow their social media, I think, and everything, yeah. And I think even Disney proper even tweeted about it, yeah. I think even they did. I think they had a hashtag and everything. But yeah, so tomorrow night is KP Silver Drama. And then next Sunday after week 18 Sunday Night Football, or maybe a little earlier, we'll do Wendy Wu. And then I got to figure out what day in the week to do We Didn't Weep. And then Wild Card Weekend. So, um, we will do... Yeah, adventure, Adventures and Babysitting, and that was not a DCOM. They didn't start doing DCOMs until 99, or 98. Um, let me bring up my phone link. Because, yeah, like, the first DCOM was under wraps in 1997. I mean, there were other films they did before. Like, from 80, like, premiere films from, like, 83 when the channel was around. To, like, 97 itself. But, like... Yeah, Ventures and Babysitting, where is it, yeah, was a uh, remake of the 1987 theatrical film 
That was uh, Christopher Columbus's directorial debut. What? No. I... No. What 70s Adventures in Babysitting? They say the hundredth is Adventures in Babysitting, dude. Yeah, American Baby Adventures in Babysitting is a 2016 American Adventure comedy TV film directed by John Soltz and Serena Regan and Sophia Carson. It is a remake of the 87 film of the same name. The film premiered on Disney Channel and Yankee Canada on, on June 24, 2016, and is the 100 Disney Channel original movie. And I'll show you this. And you've... And... Okay, I'm waiting for that DM, man. Well, I'll put this in there. Cause that did not you know, like. Cause it, that's your. It says 2016. So what other one was from 16 out from the 70s? Cause then the swap was the 101. If you're talking that one, that was 101. But through 100th. Was babysitting. So I think you're getting your numbers all mixed up. Because both of those came out were, were, the movie I'm talking about did, was the one they say is the hundredth. You're talking about the one that came out that, in, in October, when they did that marathon that you're talking to. Because they did the marathon when they premiered the babysitting one. Yeah, they did that marathon... May for June of 2016. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah, 87. That's the one I was talking about. That's not a 70s film. <laughs> I think you're getting your 7 and 8 mixed up. Or it might be my uh, my sound, my uh, impediments are getting in the way. Cause that's the one I was talking about. That's not the 70s. That's eighty-seven. Because that would be Christopher Columbus. That would have been, he's like 10 years older. Yeah, and that's what I was talking about at first. Because, yeah, that one, the babysitting one is the hundredth. Yeah. I'm like, what 70s film are you talking about? Because the babysitter was a remake. It was from 87 that they remade into a decom. As the hundredth. Yeah, it's cool, man. I mean, and that's what I was like. Yeah. So, yeah, you might want to. So, we were. Re I was referencing it right, but, you know, the first one. And then you're. 
And then from the 70s, you were like, no, it's from the 70s. And I'm like, Christopher Columbus wouldn't be directing films in the 70s. <laughs> that's the DM. That's why I sent you that link. Yeah, I know. I've I've seen those, too. I've, I've seen Descendant stuff everywhere, man. I just haven't seen the movies. I've heard of it. I've seen, like, little clips things or but I haven't actually sat down to see it <laughs> it's like I know what I see what all goes on like I I don't watch Disney that much anymore because again I watch this YouTube really and watch just wrestling stuff and sports and that kind of thing but I know I kind of try to keep my ears on what they do um so it's not like I know, that's what you were on me about when I announced this whole thing. You were like, you didn't do Descendants? And I'm like, and I'm like, dude, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I told you that how many times by now. <laughs> but yeah, like, oh, I want to, I was going to bring on it because we were going to do the whole, like, I mean, we could do it. I mean, on Sundays, it's not. A... Why can I not? Cool. There we go. Yeah, 2011, I need to get the logos and that for that and then the KP remake, but... Yeah, so tomorrow is going to be... KP Silver Drama. And then next... After week 18... I'll probably do Weed and... Uh, or I'll probably do Weed and Weed probably the... 11th then, maybe the 10th, um, and then we'll do game, we'll probably do the Myra's after, episode after that, again, dependent on if I don't get called or, in the work or not, um, so, kinda, hold on there a second, and then, if that happens, then HSM 2 is probably going to be on the 14th or 15th. Um, if it's the 15th, it's going to be after Sunday night. If it's the 14th, it will be after. It will probably be like 11 to midnight if it's for Saturday. I'll probably do it there just to give me an extra... And then after that, I don't know for the rest of the final six movies. Um, but other than that, like I said, I'm going to figure out when I want to bring back the games. I should bring them back. Hopefully, when um, after reading week, maybe we'll start. We'll have. Our, we'll be good to start doing game streams again. I, how many do they even have? They don't have many. I don't... But I don't know if they own those movies. No. They, they'd they have to own them. No, that'd be the thing. They can't put it up what they don't own. Yeah, there's not many. So I don't think they can really advertise it anyway. Cause they didn't do. I know. I know they did like one with Jerry and Jeanette, but and I was like, you know, I could think of. But yeah, so tomorrow will be Kim. And then after that, we'll do next Sunday night, or probably right Saturday or Sunday, we'll do Wendy Wu, and then later on in the week, we'll do. Reading, we probably on that 
we'll probably do it on the Sundays for Kim and Wendy Wu, and then we'll do, um, or, well, wait, I can do a game stream probably Wednesday, if I'm lucky, um, so we might get, I might do the My Rise, I might do a Myers episode on Wednesday night. And then maybe we might do the paper and team pay per view on Thursday. Or flip flop it, I don't know. Oh uh, I yeah, I don't I don't remember any of that. But yeah. Again, just stick to tune on Twitter to find out when I'm doing all that. Um but yeah, I do tweet out when I go live and everything. And some like media news and that we do talk a lot on discord or we do talk in discord we have our own server and everything and i do put everything up on youtube hopefully this didn't get broken into uh <laughs> two different videos um we're gonna go raid we're gonna have a raid message and i think i know who i'm gonna raid already because it's like 3 a.m and i'm not i'm not gonna look too hard for a raid target so I want to get this exported and everything and everything. So, so let me get the raid here set up. So we want to copy that raid message. You totally can. And paste it in where we go raid. Let's go raid teeny here. So I'll be on for Kim tomorrow. And everything. Um, But now we're caught up. So we're right where we need to be. Kim was meant to be tomorrow night. Anyway, so it works. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for being here tonight. And again, I apologize for the uh, the, the time for issues. I had a disconnect happen um, earlier, so I I it disconnected. I don't I have that protection thing on Twitch that where you know doesn't come off right away. So I'm happy with that. Um, I need to figure out how I can get it to like reset. I mean, I can add in like manually edit the clock on it or something. But I guess I can't. I don't know. But hey, that's a thing. So I'll see you guys in just about well, less than 24 hours for night number three of three night and three movies in a row. Stay smart. Stay sane and that kind of crap. Teeny, don't go flying off on them. All right. Yeah, you can do what you want. Who knows? But hope you guys had a great night. Hope you have a great night. Happy New Year, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.